The month is finally here. The month that my Corvette C8 finally gets built. It seems like it's been forever ago that I placed my deposit with a dealer for my allocation, but nevertheless, we have finally made it. These past few weeks have been filled with tons of automotive journalists reviewing the Corvette C8, and I'd say that this car has met every bit of the high level of expectation that we've all held for it. But today, I wanted to touch on something that has been found while diving deep into the C8's owner's manual. Yes, that's correct, we finally have the owner's manual officially uploaded by GM. I will have a link below in the pinned comment for anybody that wants to check it out. It really is a fun way to learn about the C8 and get a feel for the car that it will provide for you as an owner. This new manual has led some very smart detectives to add to some of the speculation that we will in fact see a hybrid option for the C8 Corvette in its higher performance variants. Before we actually get into it, what was found in the manual, let's recap on what we know about the future of the Corvettes possibly going hybrid. The first thing that's obvious is fitment for front wheel electric motors is it's easy given the way GM has designed their new Corvette. If we take a look at a cutaway of the new C8, we see that the front can easily be used as space to house the needed parts to give it an all wheel drive system with the front being the electric motors. But what about the all of the electrical drive unit and wiring? Well, it appears that there's plenty of room for that as well, which nestles itself down the middle of the car. This center tunnel would give it ample space for the batteries and all the other powered electronics to reside in, meaning that no major modifications to the current body would actually be needed. So we know GM has set up the base Corvette for possibly upgrades into the future. In addition, I saw where Cletus McFarlane reviewed the C8 and made note that while a supercharger would most likely not fit in the engine bay due to the belt placement, it would indeed have plenty of room for a twin turbo setup. I think a hybrid design with instant torque at the line coupled with a twin turbo V8 would be an incredible combination. As far as when the hybrid will show up in the lineup, it's still a toss up. The latest that we've heard is the reliable tipster has mentioned this hybrid design will be saved for the ZR1 version of the C8 lineup, which most likely would make sense as this car would be their top tier performance contender, especially with a new mid-engine layout and all-wheel drive system. Other bits of information that we have is that GM has trademarked Zora as the name for their use. Now, I'm not really going to go into a full backstory of who Zora was, but my guess would be that they would use his name for something very significant. Say, the first hybrid all-wheel drive supercar to come from the Corvette brand. The last bit we know is that the new variants of the C8 will most likely go flat plane crank. Which I don't know about you, but it excites me a ton. Power's not even everything to me. I like the whole package of how a car truly makes you feel, the pride you have while driving it. And the sound is a very important factor to that. Flat plane cranks are hard to beat in terms of sound output. I mean, think Ferrari or GT350. I've never heard one of those cars and thought that didn't really sound that great. The C8R is what really gave it away as their new race car debuted with a brand new flat plane crank build. I'd say very exciting times are certainly up for the Corvette lineup. So I'm sure at this point you're eager to hear what has been found within the brand new manual. Well, if you check it out and you head over to page 244, you'll see that there's a layout for the Fuse system. Fuse 7 and Fuse 12 are what we're looking at today. Fuse 12 is the lithium ion battery module. It has been confirmed that as of now, the base C8 doesn't house one, and that makes us wonder, why would they have a fuse built into the module unless it was used for the next generation Corvette? But the big one is really Fuse 7, which is the power, sound, slash, pedestrian friendly alert function. Now, why would you need an outside the car alert system in any Corvette? Well, this is usually found in all electric vehicles as they can move in complete silence and it helps people alert when they're backing up or moving kind of in a crowded area. I have a hard time thinking that a Corvette C8 would be able to move without virtually everyone around them knowing. Even in stealth mode, the car is going to have an exhaust presence. Forget track mode with the baffles wide open, that would be plenty loud. 
And this has led us to intense speculation that we are not seeing but just a huge nether tip of future plans for GM and their C8 platform. Now, I will be the first to admit, I'm not versed really well in electrical architecture of vehicles, so I'm unable to come up really with any reasoning for what else this may be for, but I'd absolutely love to hear from all of my viewers on what you may think that this new Fuse setup is for. Make sure you comment below, I will certainly be reading all of your thoughts and it really does help me learn more about the car and the amount of knowledge you all can provide. Also, what do you think about a hybrid Corvette? It would certainly be a way to step up a car that is already proving to be a huge contender in the sports car space. Well everyone, it was a quick video today, but that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting as I did. If you did, please take a quick moment to hit that like button as it helps support my channel more than I can express. Also, if you are new to the channel, think about subscribing. My Corvette C8 will be built the week of March 23rd, and it should arrive the following week. I have tons of videos that will be showing the ownership experience, as well as the many upgrades I have for the car, and I think you guys will find that interesting as well. Also, for my subscribers out there, thank you so much for your support. I do want to add to make sure that you all have your bell notification hit so you know when my latest video arrives. As always, you all take care and I'll see you next video.